In this video, we are going to be troubleshooting the error. The identifier that starts with a bunch of stuff is too long. Maximum length is 128. This error can occur in SQL Server, and it can also occur in Data Factory. And so we are going to be looking at an example with both of these. Uh, we're going to start off by looking at it in Data Factory. So if you're actually looking at the specific error, you'll see uh, the bolded part. But if you're looking at it like in Data Factory as it's reporting it, you may see, you can see the, the full error. It'll say operation on target, uh, DF step failed. Uh, you see that error code there, and then you'll see the message, a database operation failed with the following error. And we'll replicate that in a second in SQL Server. And then we see uh, what's going on here with this SQL client library. And we'll see there that the maximum length is 128. Okay. And so keep in mind, we're going to be looking at a situation where it involves a column, but it's any identifier where there's a limit of 128, you would get this error. Uh, so keep that in mind when troubleshooting, what you want to do is identify what is failing and where that's being used. And one of the things that I would do based on this error message is I would go in and replicate it in SQL Server and you'll see the error. So in this case, the column exceeds the limit of 128. The column length is 128 as far as uh, the name of a column. So if we were to name a column this below, and I'm not gonna read that because it is very long, um, yes, at the very end, though, there is a point that it says that this would make a really great password, except I'll be posting it online, so this is now a terrible password. But this would be way too long to create a column, and we'll actually do that in a second, and we'll generate this error. And so we would actually get this error if we did this in a data factory. Let's say we were creating a table, and we had uh, a column uh, link that was uh, that long. The way that this may happen is if we are, let's say, reading a file dynamically in Data Factory and we're letting the header rows, let's say, be the column names, and for whatever reason in the file, either one of the headers uh, columns is very long, unlikely to occur, but let's suppose it is, that's one way that it could fail. Another way that it could fail is if there's, let's say, a corrupted file where they forgot to put delimiters in, let's say, some of the uh, column headers and when we read those headers, it comes together with several columns because there was no delimiters and it's too long outside of that length. Those are situations where you might see this if we're trying to dynamically read the headers of a file. If we do this in SQL Server, uh, as you can see, it would fail. I cannot, again, type this all out because uh, as you know, it'll go off my screen. But basically what I did is just replicated this column name here and tried to create a table. And we see the identifier that starts with, and I just put dot, dot, dot here because yeah, it's, it's way too long. It's too long. Maximum length is 128. Uh, so if you do that in SQL Server fail, uh, it will fail as well. Keep in mind, anytime you're trying to dynamically create a table, this would even be outside of SQL Server. If you're using another application, let's say uh, C Sharp, and you have a column that is over 128, you're also going to get this error. So this isn't only something that would occur, let's say, in data factor even with SQL Server, it's any time you're going to be trying to create some object in SQL Server that is outside of that limit.